Hello, let me show you a few use cases for the Magento Zero Downtime Deployment extension. So we have Magento 2.42, it's the last one for the current time. And we have the installed Zero Downtime Deployment extension by MageFan. Uh, we have enabled in, in the admin panel. And also uh, we have Magento in the production mode. So let's do a uh, few common actions uh, uh, that uh, usually perform on the production and that require Magento deployment and downtime. As the first case, uh, for example, you need to install a new extension. So let's install MageFan free blog extension. So uh, what we should do? Uh, good way is to install this extension on the dev server first. So we have one, it's a dev folder, uh, dev instance. So the live has this URL and there we have has this URL. And we use Git to manage the changes. It's a good way to do the changes and it helps to manage uh, track uh, development activity. So I go to the Git repo. In this video, I use GitLab, or, but you can use GitHub or Bitbucket, no matter. And let's create a new branch for this task. Install mushroom block two nine two. What is the version? Two nine eight. We create new branch, then switch to the uh, go to the dev uh, folder on the server. pull new branch and switch to it. So now we can download the new files and put into the app folder. Uh, in this case, in this uh, video, I will show how to install, uh, how zero downtime deployment work with the extension that was installed uh, using the archive. But the same is, uh, uh, the same works if you install via the composer just because uh, uh, installing with Archive uh, will be faster as a, right now the Composer uh, is beginning of 2021 and the Composer uh, can load packages uh, quite a long time so I use Archive in this video Sorry. So downloading the Archie on zip. Now we go and just run all setup commands. Of course, it's a dev server, so we can just run regular Magento uh, stop uh, commands. Uh, of course, there can be some uh, downtime on dev, but no matter. It's a dev and it's okay, only we work on it. We develop, we can break it and fix it. Uh, so let's wait until these all comments are done okay so the deployment process uh, finished on the dev and in the, now let's go to the dev admin panel and check if we have block here yeah and we see the block added of course there will be no block on the live yet because we did it on the dev. Let me show you. Now we need to uh, test the block and maybe then push to the staging, test again, 
but let's say that everything is fine and we are ready to push to the left to see the zero downtime deployment in an action. So what we do, we commit the changes. Now on the git, go and merge the changes to the live uh, branch. So create new merge request and merge the changes. Uh, so we merge the changes and now we can go and deploy uh, the new module to the live without it. Mm -hmm without the interruptions. So we go to the live uh, Magento folder and run the command bin Magento Magento downtime deploy. So what is happening now? Extension create a separate folder. You can see here. It copy all the Magento production files except of course images. Uh, so it knows what files are important and what files it needed. Uh, usually uh, deployment with a zero downtime takes maybe plus one minute, uh, but in term of timing, it's the same as regular deployment. So we see that it created new folder, pulled uh, a new changes through the Git, uh, try to run composer install to install on the de all the dependencies that we have in composer log file. Then it understands that new module was added and it need to enable it. So it was enabled in this new folder, not in the production folder. Uh, let's go to the uh, website and see uh, that we can go through it without any errors. like admin panel or let's go to the front end. Sorry, wrong URL. So right now uh, the Magento is deploying in this separate folder and the customers can uh, use the website let me go to some subcategory. And also admins can use the admin panel. So now is the decompile is in a way. Let's try to use the website and see that there is no interruptions. So we can add product to the cart. Let's go and sign in or create an account. And let's check what is happening here. Yeah, let's create some new account. Okay, the DE compile is in a way still. So let's go and create an order. Just use some test data. Okay, the deployment the compile was done, and now it's uh, compiles the static content. Extension know exactly what times should be uh, deployed and on what locales. Uh, let's place the order.
Yes, we can successfully place the order during the comp compilation. So as for the theme, you see that it's uh, compiling uh, the static content. And in our extension, so basically we're using the admin panel right now and no maintenance mode here. So admins and customers can use the website. And this is great. So for the static content deploy, we have an option that allows you to say, if you want to deploy only enable extensions and you can check all enable extensions here. And also extension nodes enable extension for the admin panel and as well for the locales, it know which store you use which locale and which admin user use uh, which locale. So uh, we recommend to use this option. It saves time uh, for the deployment as it deploy only necessary themes, or you can select deploy all themes and it will deploy all themes that you have in your system. So uh, the deployment process are done. So actually once it deployed all the changes on the uh, uh, temporary uh, instance, uh, it copy all the changes to the production folder, uh, flush the caches and then uh, of course remove this temporary instance. And uh, let's refresh the page and see if we have a new module in our Magenta 2. Okay, the caches uh, were flushed, so it takes some extra time to load the first time. Yeah, you have a block. Let's enable it and check the admin panel and the storefront. Yeah, it's enabled. Uh, we can see a new section here. And let's preview some post. Yeah, we have. So just uh, now we have installed new extension without any downtime. Uh, as for the extension settings, we recommend to use Git uh, as uh, it's a good way to do all the changes on the dev first and then push to the live. And also you, uh, you can use uh, Composer, like install extension through the Composer. In this way, you just need to make sure that the options uh, to pull from the composer are enabled in the settings.